In episode 2 of Phase 2, our heroes confronted the robotic guardians of the Yarasaka bunker. Natalie adopted one after removing its arms, which literally had guns for hands, but the team had the sneaking suspicion that these robots were implanted with the digitized personalities of people who'd been devoured by the soul killer virus. Their theories were confirmed when they found bodies that suffered violent deaths, and then later, more robots covered in the old, stained, dried flesh and blood of those same humans. They had peeled their flesh from their bones and draped it across themselves in a desperate attempt to recapture their lost humanity. And now that there were fresh humans in the bunker, they were eager to do the same to our heroes. A fight broke out, guns were shot, Monarch's prized shield was broken, but all the robots except for Ichiro, the one that Natalie adopted, were vanquished and dispatched. Upon further investigation, our heroes confirmed that this bunker was not only a place for Arasaka personnel to hide from a possible nuclear apocalypse, it was also a place for them to conduct research on moving soul-killed personalities into new chassis, whether those be meat or metal. The secrets of this place could give them a weapon that they can use in their war against the conspiracy that plots to destroy them and everything they love, and probably some other stuff as well, but before they could deal with that, they had to make their way to the Mendrone family compound in Haywood crowded suburbs of Night City. In the site where Monarch and Oro grew up, the family, consisting primarily of Maria and Asfaldo, seems to be doing okay. Our heroes arrived, they looked at the forbidden baby pictures, which primarily consisted of baby Monarch punching other babies in their faces, when all of a sudden they heard the roar of motorbikes outside. The Red Chrome Legion and their leader, Babylon, had rolled up to cause trouble. <laughs>